In heavenly places cause you're standing here The laws of gravity don't matter Hey guys, so uh, recently sometimes I get uh, messages or revelations or simply just um, really just warnings to the people of God and those who are looking for life, the truth, the way and it not being in drugs, sex or money. This is pretty much the word. It's a warning on the end times. So it goes, people of God, fast constantly. Pray constantly in spirit and in truth and meditate in the word of God. This is the word of God, people. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word became flesh and came to die on the cross and resurrect in three days so we may walk in righteousness for the Father. Without this word, it is, it is impossible to reach the Father, guys. Find Him, the Father, along with the body of Christ in the secret place. You must prepare for what's to come. This is what will strengthen your spirit. As it is said in Proverbs 18, 14 to 15. There's a few verses here, guys, but it's, it's important. We are in the last days. This is the final hour. A man's spirit sustains him in sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear? The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. In the ears of the wise, seek it out. You guys need to seek for it. You guys need to look for Christ. He's knocking on the door, but you gotta get up and go open it. You gotta let him in. What do you want me to do for you? I want to see you again. <sighs> then see. Your faith has made you well. I can see. You must prepare for what's to come. This is what will strengthen your spirit. Not the bonus you get from work, nor the weekly paycheck. Proverbs 23, verses 4 to 5. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone. For they surely will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Let's go to James 1. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich man will fade away even while he goes about his business. Blessed is the man who preserves under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. But God says it's time for us to tell that money, you don't belong to the wicked, you belong to us, and I want you to get in the right place. Money! Money! Revelation 13, 15, to 17. If you guys want to read it with me, it says, He was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast so that it could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. He also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. Dr. Fauci says if vaccines are given through the spring and early 2021, there will be enough herd immunity to return to some sense of normalcy. But what does that mean for people heading back to the workplace? Can your employer require you to get the vaccine? What can an employer do if their employee does not want to get vaccinated? Yeah, so they can fire them. If an individual refuses to get the vaccine, then they cannot come into work. And in a lot of situations, that equals a fire. Roughly 300,000 restaurant workers in Georgia lost their jobs during the pandemic. Many are still collecting unemployment checks. For employers who want to require employees to take the vaccine, they're having uh, some, some, some big wins and some support to suggest right. that they can in fact do that for the health and safety of the overall workforce. You just, uh, and then you go take it the next step to whether the government could mandate uh, anything and it becomes even stickier and then you can see where the personal liberty types that would, would say it's, this it's is a tricky just... issue when you go into a restaurant or a cafe theaters concerts that you can show it to someone at the door and they're supposed to scan it uh, and then they can give you entry the green passport restaurants coming back to life will be done not yet done but will be done now do you want a bite you're going to have to live off of the word of god living waters and what, what did jesus say in matthew 4 verse 4 jesus answered it is written man does not live on bread alone 
but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. This is the word of God, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to Revelation 22, verses 1 to 2. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, being Jesus, down to the middle, down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree are, the, are for the healing of the nations. It's extremely hard to live off the word of God. The living waters it speaks of coming straight from his throne, straight from the throne of the Lamb. It's hard to do that if your body is the one in control of you. James chapter 1 verses 13 to 16 says, When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when when by his own evil desire is dragged away and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. This war, people, is not of the flesh, but against the unseen. Ephesians 6, 12, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So why do we constantly feed the seen through riches and overflowing wealth? Don't be as the parable of the rich fool who says to himself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. And then what? What does it say? But God said to him, you fool. This very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? That is seen in Luke 12, 16 to 21. Guys, Jesus warns us in that same chapter. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. ISIS executed 21 Egyptian Christians in February. We were very happy with what they said on the video. Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. When we found out they had been killed for being Christian, we were very comforted because these were God's children and He took them. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear Him who after the killing of the body has power to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear Him. This is how it will be with anyone who stores up things for himself but is not rich toward God. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing, but you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, so you can over so you can become rich, and white clothes to wear, so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. If we read Revelations chapter 14, verses 9 to 13, it says, A third angel followed them and said in a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on the forehead or on the hand, he too will drink of the wine of God's fury which has been poured full strength into the cup of his wrath. He will be tormented with burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever. There is no rest, day or night, for those who worship the beast and his image, or for anyone who receives the mark of his name. Pope Francis also says that it is a moral obligation to take the virus vaccine. The Holy Father said those who do not receive the vaccine are playing with their own lives and the lives of others. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus, the true hope, true salvation. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. So let me ask you guys right now, as Christians, 
What are you doing for the kingdom? Are you being that voice in the wilderness or sitting around your idols thinking these blinding temptations come from the living God? Think about it before you call yourself a Christian. Let's start being it instead of just worshiping God with our lips. Amen, brothers. Much love. God bless you all. Auto focus. You know, you're gonna break a camera like that. You turn off autofocus, oh. and then you can do it yourself. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. You're supposed to say, all right, go back. <laughs> Last right. take. Be like, all right, okay, good. Or just like finish it off with something, you know? Yeah, I don't do that. I'm not that comedy guy. I like playing like a nice. <laughs> God bless you guys. <laughs> Teach me how to walk on water. Show me how to dance in the fire. Jesus. They led you like a lamb to the slaughter. Put you in the grave, but you got up. Jesus. Why you gotta be so many problems? Why I gotta climb so many mountains? Jesus. They told me you the well in the fire. Told me reach for you if I'm drowning.